Hey, welcome back. Let's look at your weather headlines for this week. Temperatures are falling. You may have already noticed that. Uh, we're looking at near freezing temperatures overnight and only reaching the mid 40s during the day, which we have already seen this season, but we're going to start to see it a lot more consistently. We're also watching chances for snow here over the next week. Snow levels, they are going to start to lower late Wednesday into Thursday. And at the same time, we have some moisture moving in. So I'll have the details and chances uh, for your area here in just a moment. And then we're also looking ahead to a strong weekend storm. We're talking heavy coastal rain, strong winds, and warm mountain snow is on the way Saturday into Sunday. Today, we had some cloud cover there up over the Chugach Mountains, a little more termination dust there uh, beginning to show up. Still seeing those beautiful fall colors here in town and temperatures holding in the mid 40s. A high temperature today, 47 degrees, right on track with where we expect to be this time of year. Start out at 37. Also pretty close to that normal low temperature here for early October of 35 degrees. We're currently sitting at just 307 inch of rain. Uh, typically at this point in October, we would have seen already closer to six tenths of an inch. So uh, it has been a dry start to October, but uh, it's also been a little bit warmer. And again, all of that is changing. Temperatures right now already down four degrees in Anchorage compared to 24 hours ago. Uh, we're seeing those temperatures dropping as you head out to the western side of the state, even Juneau, uh, down just a bit compared to this time yesterday. We have that area of low pressure in southeast bringing rain showers there tonight, and that is also going to supply uh, some moisture here in south central, while at the same time, we have some colder air pushing in here from the north. A little trough is going to help to uh, squeeze out some of that moisture as we head into early Thursday morning, continuing through Thursday night. But we have an even deeper trough. See this purple color here uh, that's going to move in over the weekend. That's what's really going to help to usher in that next storm system that's going to bring in, again, pretty stormy conditions for the coastal areas of South Central and into Southeast. So let's look at the timing of this. Again, a chance for an isolated shower is still possible overnight tonight, uh, but really it's not until tomorrow evening, Wednesday night, that we'll start to see some rain showing up in Seward and Whittier and across Prince William Sound. Even some snow showers up through Thompson Pass as we head into early Thursday morning. And then all of that starts to wrap back around, uh, moving here into Anchorage and the Valley. When we start out the day Thursday, temperatures are going to be close to that freezing mark, that snow level dropping to around 500 feet. So if you're on the Anchorage hillside, that's when you want to be prepared for that potential for some sticking and accumulating snow. Again, that's Thursday morning. And as those showers move through, uh, we'll continue to see chances for a wintry mix, even in the lower elevations. If those showers are heavy enough at times, we could see some quick bursts of snow, uh, even here in town in Anchorage, but temperatures will still warm to the mid 40s during the day. So nothing's going to stick around in town. You'll likely see more snow up onto the hillside. And it's really not that much moisture moving in. Again, once we get into Wednesday night, that's when we'll start to see those showers showing up. As we head through the day on Thursday, you can see close Close to two tenths of an inch for us here in Anchorage, much more as you head out into Whittier and those showers only continue through Thursday night. You also see the rain increasing with this storm tomorrow in southeast. High temperatures for you will be back up near 50 degrees. Again, it's on Saturday that you do want to be prepared for heavy rain and wind moving in. On the Kenai Peninsula, we'll start to see those showers late tomorrow night in Seward. Otherwise, pretty quiet and cool conditions for you there tomorrow. We'll start to see those showers showing up late tomorrow night night across Prince William Sound. Still dry in the Copper River Basin in mid-20s for you overnight tonight. In the valley, we'll see a chance for that wintry mix first showing up in the Susitna Valley. Uh, and then late Wednesday into Thursday, we'll start to see a chance for that wintry mix in the valley here in Anchorage as well. Again, 34 tonight, 44 for the high temperature tomorrow. Thursday is when we get that chance for a wintry mix with some hillside snow. It stays on the cooler side. And then once we get into the weekend, it's Saturday into Sunday that we'll see uh, likely additional rain pushing through and those temperatures holding in the 40s. And Rebecca, you may notice we don't have any 50s on the map <laughs> this week.